Hey guys, it's Jessica here. For today's video, I am going to be doing a Korean convenience store mukbang with my sister Tiffany. Hi, my name is Tiffany and I am Jessica's sister. Okay, we went to two convenience stores here in Korea. First is GS25 and 7-Eleven. And those convenience stores weren't that big in terms of size, but there were still lots of kinds of food mm -hmm. in there. So we bought a couple of them. So outside, since it's summer, there are several drinks along with the ice cups over here there are the ice cream it's tinted but yep here also a lot of coins mm -hmm. a lot of drinks here as well you gonna tapaguri you guys know Parasite? In Parasite, the japaguri was really famous and they actually made a japaguri so you don't actually have to mix two different kinds of noodles. What's unique to GS25 is this. Kimchi jjigae ramen and this one is super high quality. There are different sandwiches and the famous sambakimbap and different toshirap. Cheese tonkotsu! There's macarons. But macarons are really good. It's really good. It's really good. Hershey cookie and cream. Oh my god, I love this. Hamdongran. And I used to eat this a lot during my training days for a diet. There's kungoguma. A lot of snacks. They also have another toshira. Fruits and sandwich. Ta-da! We'll get one of this. This is a very symbolic convenience store food. Because there are different kinds of ramens and people eat it with cheese. There is like shredded cheese in packets. There are like one, two, three, four, four kinds of kimchi. One of this Tiffany's favorite noodles. And the snacks corner. Oh, I have one recommendation. This one. This is really good. There are also frozen food. Oh, mandu is good. Mandu is good. So we'll also get Xiaolongbao. It's a good one. It's a It's one plus one. I think this is something very unique to Korea. It's like they have one plus one, two plus one. I just noticed almost all drinks has the label. <laughs> right? One plus one. One plus one. I just noticed they also have a lot of labels. Yes. Two plus one, one plus one. I'll get one of these as well. Before we start with the official mukbang, I would like to say that it is definitely not a good choice or a healthy choice to be always eating convenience store food because first of all, it is all instant or fast food. Second of all, it produces a lot of trash, you know. So of course, it's definitely not the best choice um, for our earth and for our environment. However, it is a fact that convenience store food are quite affordable and very good in quality especially nowadays so if you're a traveler or if you are a student and you're hungry you don't have much money you could go to the convenience store every so often and eat eat okay so let's start with our food this is what we all got let's open all the noodles Two packaging. This is the powder and this is the actual kimchi. As you can see, we bought Xiaolongbao as well. Oh yeah, one thing that I was also very surprised is this cheese tonkatsu. I also microwave this and come back with all the food prepared. Ta-da! So we have all the meals here. I want to start with the cheese tonkatsu. It's got a lot of cheese inside. Let me try it. Mm. How is it? Mm. Although 
it's tonkatsu. It's a convenience store tonkatsu, so it's not crunchy at all. Mm. And it, it's so soggy on the outside. But you can't really expect like a crunchy tonkatsu mm -hmm. that's already pre-packed. Mm. The taste is good. The taste is, yeah. Not bad, but not that good. Mm. I don't know, so try this. As I said, this is my go-to cup noodles, guys. Mm. Mm. This looks like an ordinary cup noodles, but Tastes it's like got homemade. kimchi. I wanna try this. That is chizukoki. And it's the kind of flavor that any child would like, I think. Mm. It's kind of sweet, a little bit salty. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's a kimchi jjigae gachi. Now let's try the shaolong bao. A little bit soup coming out. No soup. <laughs> yeah, but it's still pretty juicy inside. Now the fire noodles. I just love fire noodles, guys. It's it's almost like an addiction that I don't want to admit. <laughs> Tiffany got this one. It's called Boksunga Bongbong, which means peach bongbong. And it's like a peach flavored drink with peach bubbles. So in this fire noodles, when you have just a little bit noodles and some sauce left, open this. And then oh. I feel like you saw this a lot in Korean dramas. And then you just dump it in here. And then add the cheese. A few moments later. Ta da! That's the melted cheese and the samgakimbap. Just mix it together. So it would be the blend of the tuna mayo flavor and, and the fire noodles. A bit, yeah, a touch of fire noodle sauce. That's how it looks like. Mmm. Mm. The tuna mayo samgakimbap is a bit sweet, so I think it blends well with the spicy flavor. <laughs> we had a good meal, <laughs> and let's move on to our dessert. Ta -da! <laughs> so that's the dessert. I want to start off with the healthier ones. This is some my diet food during my trainee days. <laughs> so a special thing about this egg is that it's like seasoned. Mm. Oh. I don't really like hard boiled yeah, eggs. Yeah, me too. It's like rough and then like it gets stuck in your throat. But this one is like, mm. it's like jelly. As you can see, it's kind of like... You guys probably wonder like, what is that huge ass up? Yeah, cool, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, cool. I got milk kiss. It's kind of like... Half milk, half soda, you know the soda yeah, flavor? Yeah, mm -hmm. This is the sweet, sweet potato. potato we got. And it's not just a boiled sweet potato, it's a it's summer season now, so I don't think this would be much of a merit to people, but during winter, this is just the best snack. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, it's so sweet. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. I thought it wouldn't be sweet, but it's so sweet. <laughs> it's like they put sugar in here. Yeah. And then the outside is a bit chewy, and the mm -hmm. inside is creamy soft. Yeah. and soft. Like the egg thing. So this sweet potato and the eggs that we ate a while ago would be good diet food. And then I'm also excited for the next dessert. Check <laughs> that. That's how it looks like. It's like cookies and cream inside. Mm -hmm. then, mm. Oh, that's so sweet. Hello? Huh? That's how it looks like. Good. It's just mm. sweet. 아니야, 잠깐만. 이것보다 훨씬 안 단데? 아니야, 이게 더 단. 이거 진짜 그냥 설탕 녹인 거였어 이거는. Cause I love cookies and cream flavor in general. And then the cream. There are lots of um, cookies in the cookies and cream. But it doesn't taste that special though. Like you probably tasted it. Yeah. Somewhere like... in your nearby bakery yeah. or something. The last. So this is a snack that I highly recommend. Oh, in English, kamja kamja is potato, potato and potato. inside a potato. Really small, very cute. Yeah. As you can see, the outside is so thin. So this is what's inside. The outside is just like a thin shell. Yeah. That breaks easily, and then this one is kind of harder. Mm. Yeah. Last but not least, we have the panalaki. The original version of the snack is in a bigger packaging. The shape of the snack is just like cheese puffs. Is that called cheese puffs? The bigger sized one is actually much bigger than this. Yeah, this big. Yeah. And I think this is like a very unique snack. There are those typical snack flavors like cheese, barbecue, sour cream, mm -hmm. and so on. But this is banana flavor. Yeah. Banana flavored cheese puff looking snack <laughs> all right so that was our korean convenience store mukbang hope you guys enjoyed if you ever get to visit a korean convenience store i would recommend uh, some of the snacks that i yeah. and tiffany recommended throughout this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>